What's happening everyone? Welcome back to the shop. Now, I've just been busy practicing some dovetails. I'm working on some boxes here, just some practice stuff, using up some scrap wood, trying to develop the skills. And I've got myself a new set of chisels from Ashley Oils. And I just wanna make a quick video of, of these, do a quick review and uh, share my thoughts on them. Now, if I forget something or if I seem a little subdued, it's just because I'm back from a three day musical festival. And uh, let's just say, well, let's just say the less said about it, the better. So um, come in for a closer look and uh, let's go through these chisels. It's hot today. <laughs> Right guys, this is the set of chisels that I bought. I bought the set of six from Ashley Oils. I got them at Workshop Heaven. I'll leave links in the description below. They range from quarter inch up to one inch or six mil up to 25 mil. And like I say, it's a set of six that I bought. They're a cabinet maker's chisel. They're a bevel edge chisel and they actually do go down to a fine point on the side, which I'll show you now in a second. They are an O1 tool steel and are hardened to rock wool 60 to 61. They come with a 20 to 22 degree primary bevel and they recommend for general working that you put a 35, 30 to 35 degree secondary bevel on them. And each one of these chisels is actually um, hand ground for flatness. And I'll show you that now in a second. They're a kind of, they're a semi-premium chisel. I've been doing some work um, dovetailing and joint making and making some boxes and you know, just general messing around, things like that. I want to get into some more, I suppose they call it fine on woodworking, maybe some cabinet making and, and uh, furniture making. I also want to make a few more guitars. So I'm trying to build up some nice hand tools. Like I say, these are a semi premium. They're not as expensive as Faircast or Nine Leeson, but uh, they are really well made and they're made in Sheffield in England and hand ground. So I've just been working on this maple box. I've just been using them on this and uh, the dovetails actually came out quite nice. I'm happy enough with how this is turning out. So uh, just trying to work on some skills and develop them. And uh, that's what I've been using these chisels for, to make this. So I said I'd do a quick review of them. You might be interested in um, a set of chisels yourself. So again, they're hand ground, and I'll show you that now. So if we take this one, if you can see the grinding pattern that's on the back of that chisel, hopefully the camera's picking that up now. You've got a flat point right behind the blade and right at the end of the chisel. And what they do is, they grind in or polish in a slight concavity in the back of the blade. So they just work out the center of the, of the back of the chisel. And it's only to a couple of tail. It's still flatter than the plane of your soul or the sole of your plane, the plane of your soul. It's been a long weekend. And uh, so the idea is you, you start from slightly concave and work your way back to flat with two points of contact behind the back of the chisel. Now I listen to guys talk about this and they say, they say it's the correct way to sharpen a chisel. Now there's a hundred ways to sharpen anything, but this is just what they say. If you place a chisel on a perfectly flat surface and try and transpose flatness to flatness, you actually end up with a slight convexity at the back of your chisel. So the ideal thing to do is introduce a slight concave back on the chisel, have both points of contact, one at the back of the chisel and one right at the blade itself, the cutting edge of the chisel and you work that then, and that you work from slightly concave back to flat, and that's the correct way to do it. And that guarantees you that you're nice and flat then. Apparently, that's the thinking behind it. So yeah, out of the box, they're very sharp. Like I say, they're ground to a primary bevel of um, 20 to 22 degrees. There is no secondary bevel on them. You introduce that yourself if you so need it. But like I say, I haven't sharpened these yet and I've used them to make this maple box here straight out of the packet. I've done no work on them. I haven't ground them flat or I haven't even tried to put an edge on them. So they work perfect out of the box. What we'll do is I'll take the inch one. I haven't actually used this yet. I've just taken it out of the packet. I'll show you how they come. So this is the 19 mil or the three quarter inch one. I still haven't even got to use this one yet. As you can see, they come um, coated in wax. So like I said, they're hand ground and hand sharpened and uh, they are pretty sharp out of the box. Let me just get this off. It's not gonna play ball with me now, of course. There we go. Let me just clean that up a bit. So. They grind them and sharpen them and then coat them in wax just to protect the cutting edge. And like I say, you can use these straight out of the packet if, if a, 20, 20, a 20 to 22 degree um, angle on your cutting blade is what you want. And they are very sharp straight out of the box. And like I say, they are a bevel edge chisel. So like 
Most chisels that are advertised as a bevel edge chisel, you can see just how thick the side is on the side of the Stanley here, as compared to the side of this Ashley Oils one. You can see how fine a point that gets down to. It's not completely down to a point. It still has a slight flat side on it, but uh, it's nothing like the slab side that's on this Stanley bevel edge chisel. Now these are only a cheap chisel, but these are slightly more expensive ones. But that, what that allows you to do, that, that grind, down to almost flat or almost down to a point is that you can get into the angles of your dovetails without bruising the corners of them and you can clear out that material it just makes dovetailing a little bit easier like i say ashley oils do make an actual specific dovetail um, chisel which goes down to a really fine point and actually almost down to like a cutting edge of your chisel is that fine if you want to get into those corners but uh, this is what i opted for and these they've been perfect for doing this job so Let's take this to the scary sharp sharpness system now. We'll give it a rub. I'll show you just how flat they are and just how sharp they are out of the box. Let's do that. Okay, guys, this is the scary sharp sharpness system. I've already done a review on this, how to use it and what exactly it is. I'll leave links up here or up here. They'll be there somewhere. I'll also leave links below to where I bought this and you can see the review I've done on it or me using this for the first time. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this uh, one inch chisel or 25 mil chisel. You can see uh, where it's ground. I'm just going to work it down on the polishing um, grits, just the back of the chisel. We'll polish up that edge and you'll see um, just behind the cutting, um, the cutting edge of this chisel, how, just how flat it is. And like I say, these are hand ground. As I've explained already, you can see there's a flat point there and a flat point there and it's slightly concave just to a couple of tail in the middle of the chisel so we work back to flat that's the idea and uh, i'll show you just how sharp these things are out of the box i haven't put an edge on any of these so uh, yeah let's do that now so i'm going to work down from the 30 micron down to the polishing edge and uh, yeah i'll show you the back of the chisel so just before we start that's what it looks like there okay so I'll just get a bit of hone right on it Again, this honing fluid is great stuff. Workshop heaven again. Links will be in the description below. I'm not getting paid to do any of this. These are, I bought all these tools myself. So um, yeah, let's get sharpening or flattening. So we're gonna work the chisel. That the whole way down. The whole knot out to the edge. And the idea is just to polish behind the cutting surface. So you'll see just how flat these are now in a second. Just a small run on each grit. That's all is required. Flip it over then onto our polishing surface. It's a little bit too much oil, but you're not to worry. And let's see if you can see that. So you can see I'm polishing just right behind the cutting surface and just right back here. So again, these are hand ground with a slight concavity and the idea is as you're sharpening your chisel, each time you work the back of your chisel, just to flatten behind your blade, is that you are just working behind your blade and you're working the back of this chisel back to flat. So yeah, I'll show you how sharp it is now. Okay, just a little bit of maple in the voice there. Again, we have the one inch chisel here. You've just seen me just polish the back the back behind the blade. I haven't sharpened this. This one is just fresh out of the packet. And you can see I haven't put an edge on this. So they're pretty sharp out of the box. Let's get a different material. Bit of sapili here. So 
So you can see, there's an Annie walk to them, perfectly flat and really sharp, which is nice. Right, just to sum up then, this set of six chisels from Ashley Oils. Um, they're a good quality cabinet maker's chisel. Again, I'm no expert on this. I'm just trying to add to my uh, tool collection here. But what I've been using them so far, they've been absolutely perfect. Again, I haven't sharpened them. They do recommend that you sharpen the bevels or put a secondary bevel on them of about 30 to 35 degrees, which is what I'm, I will do with this sharpening system I have over here. Again, I've just been using them out of the box, testing them out to see what they're like, and they're pretty impressive. Hand ground to flat, and you can see that they're perfectly flat behind, um, behind the, the cutting edge itself, so you don't have to do any prep work when you get these. A lot of chisels, when you buy them, you will have to do prep work, same as uh, any planes you'll buy, you'll have to do a bit of prep work on the blade, um, unless you get a Loy Nielsen plane and uh, you don't do any prep work on them. And you don't have to do any prep work on these chisels either, which is great. Just a slight bit of attention to that blade I recommend, or to the edge when you first buy them. Um, but again, they're perfectly sharp out of the box, but just put a secondary bevel. It's, I, I like to use a secondary bevel. I have a secondary bevel on all my chisels. It just makes sharpening that a little bit quicker and that a little bit easier, that's all. Uh, any negatives about them? They're extremely light, which is a great positive, but it's also a negative if you want, if you want to hammer on them. They're not going to beat the crap out of these things. Um, they're for, you know, fine woodworking, use them with your hand. They will take some hammering. I've been using them with this, this hammer, this uh, plastic and rubber edged hammer, and uh, it's no problem knocking out the material out of your dovetails. They will take that kind of abuse, but they're not going to be, you're not going to be knocking out mortises with them. You know, get yourself a set of mortise chisels or a set of cheaper chisels if, you, if you're attending on uh, hammering on these things. But uh, yeah, that's it guys. They're my new chisels for my fine woodworking, you're going to see me use these a lot in upcoming videos and uh, I just wanted to share them with you. You might be in the market yourselves for a set of new chisels and uh, these ones are like a semi-premium. So they're not overly expensive, they're not extremely cheap, they're really well made. Out of the box, they're already prepared for me, made from a good quality steel. Hardwood handles, I'm not sure what the hardwood is, it just says hardwood. Um, they could be stained, so I'm not sure, but uh, they feel good in hand, nice and light to use. And like I say, sharp and ready to use out of the box what more could you want so that's the ashley oils chisels guys and uh i'm feeling a bit under the weather now after that long weekend so i'm going to knock off now and go in and get a cup of tea i'll talk to you in the next one take it easy